اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم And what is Q-square? Now Q-square is predictive relevance and that measures whether a model has predictive relevance or not. And it should be greater than 0. If your model has Q-square value of greater than 0, then it has got predictive relevance. Now what it does is that Q-square establishes the predictive relevance of the endogenous constructs in your study. Again, it is for the endogenous constructs, not the exogenous constructs. Q-square values above zero indicate that your values are well reconstructed and that model has predictive relevance. Again, a value over zero. And if it is 0 0.02, 0 0.15, 0 0.35 for weak, moderate and strong degree of predictive relevance of each effect. Now let's see how do we establish or how do we check the predictive relevance of the model? Whether the prediction that is made for the endogenous construct is relevant or not. Let's go back here. And now in Smart PLS3, we had our blindfolding procedure. In this case, we do not have the blindfolding procedure. They have changed it and we are going to use PLS predict for it. So let's go PLS predict. So what is PLS predict, uh, how to use it, the concept, the process, everything will be explained in coming lectures. For now, we are just going to use it for Q square, that is predictive relevance. Let's start. Now here are our results. Let's go to report, latent variable prediction summary. And this is your predictive relevance for each of your endogenous constructs. Now look at this, it's greater than zero. This means that predictive relevance for your endogenous constructs in this model is established. Now, how do we report these results? So here are your predictors, outcomes, R square values, F square values. You simply have to copy these values from your results here. And finally, the Q square values for the endogenous constructs was over zero. Hence, predictive relevance was established. Now, since the Q square values were higher, predictive relevance was established and you can have a column here for Q square. And then you can have Q square values for your outcome variables here. And again, you can simply remove these cells empty the cells like this. Let's say, let me quickly do one. So what was the Q square for OP? Let's come back here. 0.561. Here it is 0 0.561. And similarly, you can do for all the other outcome variables. Thank you very much.